Next, we're going to look at how you manually schedule content within Meet Edgar. So when you click to add new content and you're brought to our composer screen, you're going to check off the accounts you'd like this post to go out to, put it in a category or leave it in your general category. Once you write your status update in the text box, scroll down and rather than saving it to your library, you'll notice an arrow next to the save to library button. This will allow you to do two things. First, you can click send now and save. This will send the post one minute after you click this button to whatever social media accounts have been attached over here on the left. Additionally, you'll notice you can click schedule send and save. If you click schedule send and save, this pops up a text box where you can put a specific day and time you want this post to send out at. If this text box has been established with a day and time, Edgar will hold this post until this day and time is reached He'll send it out to whatever accounts are attached over here on the left. If this post has been assigned to a category that is on your weekly repeating schedule, the post will then go to the end of the line in the category, and it'll go back into your automation rules depending upon when that category is on your schedule. If this has been established with a day and time of when it should send, and let's say this is a holiday post, like saying Happy New Year's to your followers, and you only want this post to go out one time, make sure you take advantage of this advanced settings drop-down menu. You can mark a post as use once, which means once Edgar sends it out one time, he'll automatically expire it. Use once content will remain in your library. It'll have a gray shield over it, letting you know that it's not in your rotation anymore if it's been sent out. You can always use the filters in the library. There's one to locate all of your use once posts, and you can always edit them and remove the used once delineation here if you'd like to use them in the future. The second option under advanced settings is to expire your content. So if you're using our weekly repeating schedule with your automation rules, and let's say you have a post you do not want to go out in the next six months or so, go ahead and put the date and time you'd like this post to stop sending out. Edgar will keep it in that last in first out rotation based on your schedule. Then he'll go ahead and expire it. Again, it'll remain in your library. It'll be grayed out, letting you know it's not in your rotation of posts anymore. You can always locate it and unexpire it in the future. So take advantage of our manually scheduled options. If you schedule send and save a post, just remember this does not replace a time slot on your schedule. It is in addition to your automation rules set up on your weekly repeating schedule. These two systems of posting are completely independent. One does not replace the other. They exist for different reasons. So go ahead and schedule some schedule send and save manual posting as well as your weekly automation posts to get a great mix of content going out for your followers.